Krishna, Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. Children and those of you who are childlike at heart. One thing about Krishna's life is that his entire life was to bring joy, happiness and laughter in the lives of everyone. Bhagwan took avatar as Krishna, came into this world to show us, to teach us and demonstrate to us what is Dharma. What is that right way of living? What is that human way of living by which we not only live for ourselves but our life is lived bringing about happiness to everyone around us. See how Krishna throughout his life he protected the people he brought joy and laughter in their life and wherever he went, he spread peace and happiness. When Bhagwan had secured the kingdom of Dwarka, at that time, Bhagwan's aunt who was Kunti and her sons, known as the Pandavas, Yudhishthir, Bhima, Arjun, Nakul, Sahadev. These were the five Pandavas. And the center of India was Hastinapur, today where Delhi is there. And there, these Pandavas, to whom the kingdom belonged rightfully, were being competed by their cousins called as the Kauravas, and they were hundred in number. But from childhood, they tried to hurt the Pandavas, they tried to even send the Pandavas off, they even tried to burn them in a palace because they were greedy for kingdom. But the Pandavas along with Mother Kunti suffered all this and yet Mother Kunti who was the sister of Krishna's father Vasudev, she brought up her children with such good values, with such nobility and such greatness that everybody loved them and therefore Yudhishthir was made the crowned prince to become the king of Hastinapur but his cousin Duryodhana was very envious of him and the Kauravas did everything and finally sent them to exile for 13 years. But ever since Sri Krishna became close to the Pandavas, he knew that the future of Bharat, the future of India had to be built on the foundation of such righteous, good prince and kings. Shri Krishna helped them throughout and that's the story of the Mahabharat that you will hear sometimes. But when the Pandavas came back to get back their rightful kingdom, meanwhile Duryodhan who had cheated them and taken the kingdom but promised to give them the kingdom after they came back after 13 years 
refused to give the kingdom. There also the Pandvas sought help of Krishna and Krishna left his peaceful Dwarka and came into Hastinapur trying to create peace between the two, the Pandvas and the Kauravas. But finally, the Kauravas were unrelenting and they decided that there is going to be a war because they want to finish off the Pandvas. Finally, the war was declared. A war like never before. And we hear that never after also. Where millions of people had to gather there. And that too also from the same country, from the same family. Both tried to get their friends to join them, their allies. But both knew that whoever has Krishna and the Narayani army of Dwarka, for them victory would be possible. Arjuna went to Sri Krishna to ask him to give his blessings. But even before Arjuna could reach there, Duryodhan's very clever uncle told him that you go and get Krishna's help and Dwarka's army. Because if that army is with us, the Pandavas will be defeated. And Duryodhan, who knew that he who had tried to imprison Krishna, hurt Krishna when he came with his peace proposal, that Duryodhan shamelessly went to ask Krishna for his army to join the Kauravas. So did Pandavas send Arjuna and Krishna and Arjun had such a great friendship for Arjuna was devoted and revered Krishna and followed his advice. And Krishna knew that the new kingdom could be built when you had a warrior like Arjuna, who's ever ready to fight against all low tendencies within and without. Duryodhan reached Dwarka first. And when he went into the chambers of Krishna, Krishna was having his afternoon nap. Everybody knows you should never wake up someone from his afternoon nap. He or she becomes very grumpy. And now that you have to go and ask for his favor, Duryodhan did not wake up Krishna, but went and sat on the head side of Krishna. Meanwhile, Arjuna came. When he came and saw Krishna sleeping, Arjuna came and sat at the feet of Krishna. Now when you open your eyes, who do you see first? Someone who is above you or someone who is at your feet? Krishna saw Arjuna when he woke up and said, Arjuna, you have come here. What can I do for you? Immediately Duryodhan from behind jumped and said, but I came here first. So Krishna says, what can I do for you, Duryodhan? They both said, you know, in spite of you wanting peace, the war has been declared. We want you to be with us. Duryodhan said, but you can't be partial. I know Krishna, you, you, you love Arjuna more than you love us. Krishna said, I will not be partial. But I saw Arjuna first and you came first. Both of you have come to me for help. So I will help both of you. But one can have 
my full army with all its weapons and technology and the other can have only me and I will not raise a single weapon to fight against any side. Duryodhan said, that's very good. Who wants Krishna? I want his army. What would you want? Krishna or Krishna's army? Krishna or the wealth Krishna can give you? Or power Krishna can give you? Most people will ask for power, wealth. But Bhagwan asked both of them, you choose. Either you can have my army or you can have only me and I will not fight with anyone with weapons. Arjuna, you came to me first. Duryodhan was afraid that what if he asked the army? He said, but, but, he said, Arjuna came first. Don't you worry, Duryodhan. You will get what you want. And Bhagwan asked Arjuna, what would you want? My army or me? And Arjuna said, Krishna, I want only you and your blessings. And if I have you with me, I want nothing else. Duryodhan was very happy. He said, then I take the army. What would you take? Like Arjuna Krishna? Or would you take the army? Very often when we pray to Krishna, we say, Krishna give us power. Krishna give us wealth. But Arjuna was wise. That intelligence who has created this army is far more powerful and intelligent than the army. Bhagwan said, Tathastu. Duryodhan went very happy getting the army of Krishna with a million warriors with the most sophisticated, mighty weapons. And Arjuna was very happy that his Krishna, his bestest friend, was with him. And who do you think would win and be victorious? When finally the two armies had gathered on the battle of Krukshetra, millions of people had gathered on the battle of Krukshetra. On one side was the larger Kaurava army. On other side was the smaller army of the Pandavas. And when both were gathered, Duryodhan, looking at the small army of Pandavas, but knowing that they were fighting for the right cause and therefore they were focused and his army, some he had forced to join him, some he had blackmailed to join him, others had joined him because the grandfather Bhishmacharya was serving the throne of Hastinapur and had to be on the side of Duryodhan. He went and he insulted his guru Dronacharya who was the common teacher of the Pandavas as well as the Kauravas. Bhishmacharya blew his conch to declare the war and as everybody blew their conches, their bugles and the war cry started and the elephants were blowing their trumpets and uh, the horses were neighing away. That time in midst of that din and that roar, in the middle of the battlefield comes a beautiful golden chariot driven by white horses 
and sitting on that chariot is Arjuna, the mightiest warrior, the mightiest archer of that time. And who became his charioteer? Bhagwan Krishna himself became the charioteer of Arjuna. And Arjuna could tell the Lord, take me into the middle of the battlefield for I want to see who has gathered here to fight against us for this evil-minded sons of my cousin. Arjuna was ready to fight. But Sri Krishna brought the chariot as commanded by Arjuna and placed it right in front of not only the mighty warriors, but the dear grand uncle, grandfather of Arjuna, whom they considered as their grandfather. And that is Bhishma Charya. In front of the very teacher of Arjuna, Dronacharya. And all the mighty warriors. And Arjuna, when he saw and when he could think how terrible this battle is going to be and that he would have to fight against not only these evil people but even great people who loved him and whom he also loved. Bhishma, Drona. Arjuna at that moment, full of worries, anxieties and emotions, broke down completely and sat down, confused whether it is my duty as a warrior to fight for my nation or should I for my dear and near ones not do anything? He sat there with tears almost rolling from his eyes and said, Krishna, I cannot even pick up my bow and arrow. How am I to fight with these great people? And Arjuna did not even realize that having chosen Krishna, he had chosen victory. The battle would have already been lost before it even started because Arjuna collapsed and fell down there. And there is where Arjuna did something very nice. He bowed down to Krishna and said, Krishna, I am utterly confused. What is my duty? What should I do? And there is where Sri Krishna gave the knowledge of the Gita to Arjuna. And my children, as you grow up, Listen, understand and live your life by these teachings of Sri Krishna which is called as the Bhagavad Gita or in just very small words, Gita. And if you live your life the way Krishna has taught you, victory will surely be yours. But you will live a life of not only your growth, but also benefiting the world. Not only becoming successful, but becoming great. And Krishna wants all his children to be great, not just get some good marks, 
earn some money, but be great to do something wonderful, just as Sri Krishna did in his life and like he made Arjuna and the Pandavas do. Will you do it? I am sure you will. So just say, Krishna, Krishna. Let me hear you all loudly and I can hear you from around the world. Krishna, Krishna. 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 And Arjuna got the knowledge from Krishna, the inspiration and the motivation from Krishna that you do your action for the higher good. There, whether you win or lose, doesn't matter. You do it for the absolute good. Do it for God's sake. Do it because God has given you the ability to do good in this world, to be happy and to spread happiness in this world. And Arjuna did it and became the greatest hero amongst mankind and brought about along with his brothers for many centuries a kingdom of greatness. And after that, we hear also that how India became such a land of greatness in all the sciences, arts, uh, music, dance, cosmology, uh, astrology, astronomy. In every field, mathematics, in all fields and all sciences, medicine became one of the greatest countries in the world where the entire world would come to India to gain knowledge. And even now, the spiritual knowledge of how to live our life and make the world a happy place, the world even now comes to India to learn the Bhagavad Gita. And our Gurudev, Swami Chidmayananda, spent his entire life bringing to the youngest children, to all the people in the world, this teaching of Krishna and love for Krishna and his teaching so that we could make many, many Arjunas in this world who will stand up and will build a society, build a world of joy, happiness, productivity, goodness, sharing, laughter and peace. So children, these stories of Krishna that I heard from my grandmother when I was little and then from our Gurudev, these lovely, lovely stories that I heard and then as I grew older to understand the wonderful lessons that come from it and how it transforms our life to become great and to spread greatness and help others to attain greatness. Puja Gurudev Swami Chinmayananda, every day of his life, whenever he met us, he said, Krishna, 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 Krishna. You too also remember when you wake up in the morning, Krishna, Krishna, brush your teeth, Krishna, Krishna, drink your milk, Krishna, Krishna. Eat your breakfast, Krishna, Krishna. Do your work, whether you study 
or do any work. Krishna, Krishna. 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 When you are even playing and enjoying yourself. Krishna, Krishna. 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 Before you go to sleep also. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna. And that way, always remembering Krishna, Krishna's life and the teachings of Krishna make your life happy and beautiful. Love you lots and a big, 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 big Krishna hug to all of you. Krishna, Krishna. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Badrani Pashyantu Ma Kaschit Dukkha Bhag Bhavet Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadhaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om Krishna, Krishna.